In this video, we're going to be focusing on position versus time graphs. If you take a look at the flow chart in front of you, it's going to be really helpful in helping you interpret the motion of an object based on its shape, its direction, and its steepness. Also, if you learn the concepts really well, you'll also be able to generate a graph based on a description or a problem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take about 15 to 20 seconds so that you can analyze the flow chart before we discuss the details of it. Okay, before analyzing a position versus time graph, one of the most important pieces of information to know is that the slope of a position versus time graphs is the velocity of the object. So if an object is moving at a constant velocity, then it's going to have a constant slope. So if you take a look at our flow chart over here, if you have anything that's straight, which could be flat or slanted, that means it's going at a constant velocity. Now from there, you only really have three options. If it's a positive slope, that just means something is moving forward. If you have a negative slope, it shows that something is moving backwards. And if you have zero slope or a completely flat line, that means an object is at rest. Other than that, the only other thing that you would want to pay attention to is the steepness of the line. If your line is steeper or more vertical, no matter if it is a positive or negative slope, that means it's moving faster. And if your line is more flat or looks more similar to this blue line, that means the rate at which it's moving is low, which means that it doesn't have a very high velocity. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up for constant velocity. There's not too much detail going on there. Now, if you have a graph that's curved, that means your slope is changing. Therefore, your velocity is changing. So if your velocity is changing, you would call that accelerated motion. Now from there, we're taking a look. Does your slope get steeper and steeper? Does it go more and more upright? If so, that means your object is speeding up and will look like one of these two graphs here. If your graph is getting flatter and flatter, which means your slope is decreasing, that means your velocity is getting lower and lower, which means that you are slowing down and then your graph will look like one of these two right here. Okay, so let's take a look at speeding up. So really the only difference between these two is one of the lines is rising and one of the lines is falling down towards the origin. So it's really just direction. But both of the lines are getting progressively more steep in their own respective direction. A common misconception is a line that's going down means slowing down, but that all that means is that it's starting at a position that's far away and then it's becoming closer and closer to zero. But if you take a look at the line, it does get steeper and steeper, which means the rate at which it's moving is increasing. It is going faster and faster. If you take a look at our two lines on the bottom, same sort of idea here, except it starts steep and becomes progressively more flat, which means the rate that it's changing position is decreasing. So that means its velocity is decreasing. Again, you want to be careful with Looking at the line too literally, seeing a line going up is speeding up and seeing a line going down is slowing down. That's not what you want to look for. You want to analyze the steepness of the slope because the slope gives you an indication of what the velocity is. So both these lines that are getting progressively more flat are definitely slowing down. The one that's rising is just gaining position, moving further, further away. And then the one in green is starting far away and then becoming closer and closer to zero. Okay, so that pretty much sums up our position versus time graphs. If you really understand the idea of how slope represents velocity, the different shapes and how they're rising and falling in different ways, you'll also be able to generate your own graphs based on a description. Thank you very much for watching and listening.